study abroad. So tell us a little bit about your study abroad. Oof, all right, this is my favorite part. Of <laughs> <laughs> I could talk forever about this just because it was uh, my life changing trip. Okay. I, again, Europe is my dream place. Mm -hmm. So the reason why that class, that services class was so impactful in my college career and why I consider it my favorite class because he showed me international business. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I got interested in because that's when I started to see, hey, maybe I could do study abroad mm -hmm. and, and try it over there. So he piqued my interest. He pushed me to actually look. So in that class, one day after I got out of that class, I went to the UCR International Affairs and that's where they have the whole study abroad program. Mm -hmm. UCAP. Um, yeah. Now, um, my, my freshman year wasn't the best. So my GPA wasn't at the top flight, at the top of the you know list. Uh, so I had a lot of difficulties applying to a, UC, uh, a UCR study abroad program. Yep. Um, I almost gave up the chance. It was it was actually amazing how it happened because I, I basically gave up the chance. But we have incredible advisors that I absolutely love, and they didn't give up on me. They uh, kept emailing me like, "Hey, I know you want to go study abroad, and you seem very passionate about actually going to this trip." So. I know you don't fit the UCR or the the UC uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. You're not on top of that list there, but there's other ones that mm -hmm. you can go to. So I did OBA or OAB, other abroad. Uh, yeah, the other options. OAB, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's when I applied to a opening in Barcelona in Spain. And that's, I'm, I'm a soccer fanatic. Yeah, and, you know, I actually Barcelona, man. Yeah. It's next level stuff. <laughs> I always wanted to visit the Camp Nou. Oh, that was an amazing and, stadium. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, whoa, I'm applying here. Yeah. Only place I applied to, just okay. because I was already down. I'm like, why not, I just apply. I ended up meeting all the qualifications and I got in almost instantly. And I, I couldn't really believe it because uh, the UC programs are so strict that you have to apply about a year in advance. Yeah, at and least eight months. Yeah. yeah, this I applied two months in advance. Whew. Yeah, so it was so late. It was, a, a, you know, went, it was fall quarter and I was going to go study about winter quarter, the mm -hmm. next quarter. So it was, it all happened so quick and I, I just took it um, and I was going to take four classes out there. Okay. Photography, sports, um, international business okay, yeah. and man, man, uh, management and ethics. Okay. And they were going to count for you know, credits, UCR yeah, credits, credits, correct. Yeah. And something went wrong right before I was going to book my flight. The management and ethics classes Campbell? dropped. Yeah. yeah. Lack of student interest. And I'm like, wow. So I talked to my advisor and she's like, yeah, you might, you might have to come back for an extra quarter because oh. of that. And I was like, should I, you know, graduating or studying abroad? I'm like, I work so hard and, you know, I want to graduate on time. So, um, you know, I stuck with graduating. But luckily, again, my advisors didn't quit on me and they kept talking to them, letting them know like, hey, he's the only senior in this program. Mm -hmm. Cause I was a senior, it was my fourth year. Exactly. So most people don't even study abroad in senior year. Exactly, they do it they earlier. Get a chance, yeah. yeah, so that's why everything was so rushed for me. And I, I kind of just went with the flow and they emailed me back like, hey, we have a new class, it's a business class, entrepreneurship. And I was like, never thought of entrepreneurship, yeah. honestly. I, I always wanted to own my own businesses, but I was like, that's later. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna learn that with practical stuff exactly. in life. So I was like, hey, like if, if it counts for my credits, might let's take it. it. Yeah, might as well do it. So I went ahead and did it, booked my trip, uh, and I went over to Spain. Now I went from January to the end of March, so about three months. Okay. Uh, best three months of my life. I met, you know, a hundred different people that have different backgrounds. Oh yeah. Completely different backgrounds. We're talking about completely different backgrounds. Yeah. Uh, not like here where we meet different people, but you know, you find some similarities. Yeah. And so it was crazy uh, just talking to these people or just trying to talk to them. I know Spanish, I'm fluent in Spanish mm -hmm. and English. Uh, so I have two languages to balance out. But they speak Catalan. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, so I learned Catalan. I, oh, yeah. I learned Catalan because it's very similar to Spanish. They just, you know, very, like they have different stuff. Yeah, I saw the menus there. I was like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> it, you can, you know, you, you can, if you know Spanish fluently, yeah. you can understand it enough to comprehend what they're saying. Okay. Uh, but anyways, not only do they know Catalanian, but they also know French, German, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and a bunch of different languages. Bunch of different languages. So I at least have two common languages mm -hmm. that I I could talk to. Uh, but from there, uh, that trip really opened my, my mind and perspective on life on what I wanted to do after college. Um, and it, while it did that, it also eased my mind on what I wanted to do after college because I had those three months to really live life. Mm -hmm. Because when I came come back, I, you know, last quarter, push it, we're gonna graduate. 
So I really got to slow down in life and really see where I'm at. Because again, talking about my background, I'm not supposed to be where I am. Yeah. You know, or maybe I am. Uh, depends how you look at it, you don't know. But most people that have my background aren't where I am. Today. Exactly, yeah. So I, you know, wanted to use the American dream and what my dad sacrificed to get me over here and I wanted to make it all worth it. Mm -hmm. So I'm a very, I'm a family man, so I wanted to do this for my family. I had missions and goals. The only problem is I didn't know how I was gonna reach those. Yep. Uh, I'm a first generation college student, first generation business owner, uh, you know, only one to actually go to different, to Spain, to Europe, none yep. of my family swimming out there, so it was totally different. So I'm, I'm, I'm swimming by myself, <laughs> no lifeguard on duty, nothing. Yeah.